Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Andy in Singapore. For today's video, we are going to do a full review of the new Vario Versa. So this Vario Versa is a newer release from local brand, micro brand Vario. And I believe the first batch of the Versas, they were launched last year and, and they were sold out. So I am holding on to two prototype watches. And these new colorways, they are going to be ready for sale launching on April 19th and that is the time that you can do the pre-orders. So I think from one look you can see that the Vario Versa here is a watch that is heavily inspired by designs such as the Reverso or the Tank. It is essentially a dress watch done in a very classic size. Now this is a really small watch, all right? it's got a width of under 30 millimeters K size and we've got this rectangular elongated type of look here. Very classy look. And true to the watch that this is inspired from, the Vario Versa here is a reversible watch. All right, so a bit of magic over here. <laughs> here you can see that the watch has transformed from a black dial watch to a white dial watch. And this can be done by just simply flipping over the watch case itself or the movement itself. So this is an interesting design and it is powered by two independent Swiss quartz movements. So essentially this also makes it sort of a dual time watch. All right, so you could probably set the home time here and then as you flip around the watch dial, you can look at the second time zone. So pretty useful if you're a traveler who wants to, you know, read time on both sides of the world. And there's a plus point with having two separate movements. Now, by doing so, you can take into consideration different time zones with half an hour increment. So this is unachievable with the more usual standard GMT function. And before I continue with my review, I'd like to take some time to thank Vario, right, for loaning in two watches. Instead of one, they've so generously loaned me two of their watches. And these two are the new colorways, new color combinations. All right, so I'm just gonna run you through the details later on in this video. And now with the lens zoom in very slightly, let me run you through the key specs of the Vario Versa. We are looking at sort of a Gen 2 or version 2 where we've got whole new uh, color combinations going on. We've got a case size here of 26 millimeters width. And that's a really small watch, but do bear in mind that this is like sort of an art deco and vintage styling. And back in the days, the correct size for men's watch is around 30, 33 millimeters and there is nothing wrong uh, with this case size, all right? It is still a men's watch. But of course, with the current trend, I'm very confident that the ladies, they will rock this watch with plenty of confidence and ease because I think at this case size, uh, it is very suited to the ladies as well. L to L here is around 39 millimeters, all right? So that's measuring from the end of this case or luck to the other end and again this is a very manageable measurement so if you have smaller wrists or if you're a lady i think again no problem at all so let's talk a little bit on this sapphire display here of course it's rectangular and the actual display size is about 19 millimeters by 22 millimeters so as mentioned this is a really small watch uh, done in the classical size and in terms of weight, this watch is also very light, coming in at only 68 grams. That's measuring together with the deployment clasp here as well as the leather strap. So let's talk a little bit on the price for this watch, all right? Essentially, you're getting two watches because you're getting two Swiss movements over here. And the watch here retails for Singapore dollars, $580. So you can definitely get a discount if you use my code here, Flash at the bottom of the screen. So do use my code if you're intending to order this watch. All right, let's talk a little bit on this movement over here. In fact, there are two movements inside this watch and they're both independent. So this watch here is powered by two Ronda SlimTech 1062 movement. It's a Swiss quartz and listen to this, all right? It's got a battery life of six years. And I think that's fantastic because the last thing you wanna do is every two to three years, head down to the service center or your watchmaker to do a battery change. But 
six years battery life I think is fantastic. Let's talk a little bit on the case design as well as the build quality of the Vario Versa. I've swapped over to the other version on the black strap here. So this is a very straightforward design. Okay, there's nothing fancy about this one. No crazy curves, no crazy uh, design, no crazy crowns or crown guards or anything like that. But there are really nice details going on all over this watch. I really love this fact that every side of the watch here is rounded off. Every side, okay, so from the base of the watch here to the top, to the sides, to the edges, face of the bezel, if that's what you want to call it, all right? Everything here is rounded, very nicely done. Not quite a chamfer, but nicely rounded. There are no sharp corners or sharp edges at all on the watch. And the finishing here is definitely on point. We've got a really nice brush finish on the mid case here or the main case here and we've also got the same brush finish on the actual watch and the mechanism for flipping over the dial here is also fantastic all right so we've got two little notches over here and it sort of sits the movement in place without any wobbliness and all that so i think Overall, the execution and the workmanship here is fantastic. All right, so four watches like this, watches that you can swap or reverse or flip over and all that. I think these are the areas that you more or less worry about, you know. I think it's going to fall off or loosen up over time. But with this design, I think uh, it is really well made. So nice little notches here to keep everything in place once the flipping is complete. All right, so also, I'd like to bring to your attention that one side of the watch, or rather one of the face here, you will see four screws on the bezel. All right, and this is for battery changing purpose or servicing purposes. So uh, you do need to have some access points to the watch movement. So one side of the watch here, you will see four screws here that is allowing you to remove the crystal or the movement for battery changing. So same for the screws over here. So I understand that in order to change the batteries, you need to sort of unscrew out the entire module or the main case of the watch here, all right? And then do your battery change. So again, very clever design and execution from Vario. As with all Vario watches, they come in their in-house leather straps and this is very similar to the straps I've reviewed before from Vario. Really good quality, sort of tan Italian calf leather strap. I do like the fact that this time around, they have listened to my <laughs> recommendation. They have actually included matching inner lining. So both sides of the straps, you're getting the same material, same calf leather. And I really think this is an upgrade from the previous versions whereby you get a light colored inner lining okay so those things are going to stain up badly over time but with a matching inner lining no such problems at all and now let's move on and talk a little bit on the dial design and the overall color combinations and design cues of the face of the watch all right so this one here as you can see it is done in a two color design so one side of the watch will have a light dial and the other side will have a dark dial. Again, so, Vario has taken great effort in making sure that both faces, they are very different. So over here, we've got a sector dial here, which is more or less a sportier type of look. And over here, we've got a light dial version here, which is an enamel dial here. Obviously, this is the classier version. All right, so same goes for the other watch that I'm holding on to. We've got the dark dial here, again done in enamel. And as I flip over, you will see the sector dial here, which is done in the light dial version. I think this is some sort of a silver dial with a brush finish, some sort of a linen look to it. So the Versa also has a really clever luck design here. It uses a regular 20 millimeter strap, and I think you can definitely change it out uh, according to your own preference and your own style so if you don't like this smooth calf leather look you can definitely opt in for 
a crocodile strap or alligator strap. And at this point, I must say, in terms of legibility, you know, this is just fantastic, all right? We've got this classic two-hander type of look here, and the minute markers here are very clearly printed along the railway track here towards the edge of the dial end. You know, in terms of legibility, easy reading of time, no issues at all, despite the smaller dial and case sizes. I really like how everything is minimally designed. There is no unnecessary text or words or anything like that on the dial. Just the logo at six o'clock, two hands here, very elegant design, very nicely done from Vario. Now let's have a look at the wrist shot of the Vario Versa. As you can see, this is a classic size watch, right? Not the biggest, but I think it fits the overall design theme of this watch here, Art Deco, probably 20s or 30s type of design and definitely suits all sorts of wrist sizes, all right? So men, women, not a problem at all. Overall dimensions are very small. There is a bit of a slap-sided look to the K sides over here, all right? So I assure you that this watch is not overly thick. It looks like it is thick because of the slap-sided design, all right, because of this case here, rectangular casing and all that. But in terms of actual thickness or thinness, it is very manageable. And let's have a look at the wrist shot here in a more natural light setting. And here you can see how well the overall design here blends in to fit the theme of this watch here, which is a really old school, classic design to it. And I'm loving this burgundy strap over here. So overall dimensions of the watch, again, very manageable, no luck gaps at all. Very comfortable to wear this watch here. And now let's do a really quick size comparison. Obviously, I don't have a tank or a reversal in my collection. Okay, I don't think I'll ever get those watches uh, in my collection. But then let's have a look at the closest watch that I can find uh, for a size comparison. This is the main Manhattan 37. So you can see for yourself over here, right? This is a really small watch. The Manhattan is not a big watch to begin with. And I would say this really falls under the classic size men's watch where it is under 35 millimeters. And in today's uh, watch wearing trends, I think this is definitely built as a unisex watch. So in summary, I'd like to say that the Vario Versa is a very refreshing a change in the world of micro brand watches, all right? So this is no longer the usual dive watch, explorer type of watch, Gada watch or something like that. And this is something new, ultra dressy, very elegant look and nicely done, nicely executed. We've got two very reliable quartz movements and lots of really nice design touches. And I think at this price point, all right, 580 Singapore dollars, the Vario Versa here represents very good value for money. You're getting Swiss movements, two Swiss movements, and in terms of design and execution, all very nicely done. And at the end of the day, this is something very unique. Definitely a conversation starter and fun and interesting piece to have in anyone's collection. So there you have it. That was my full review of the Vario Versa. The newer batches, they're going to be launched April 19th. So Make a move, all right? Make it quick if you want to do a pre-order on April 19th, all right? So don't miss out on the chance to own this really cool watch from a Singapore micro brand. This is Andy in Singapore. I'll see you next week for more reviews. Bye-bye.